a quick chat about erasing your pencils from underneath your inks. I have some suggestions that I hope will help things go a lot more smoothly. One, if you're having a problem with your inks ghosting, that's when when you erase your inks look really, really gray instead of black. Maybe try letting your inks dry overnight. I found that allowing my inks to cure for 24 hours tends to eliminate that problem. Secondly, I have some recommendations for you. I like to erase using a white vinyl eraser. My current eraser of choice is a mono eraser and you can get those on Amazon. I think you can get them on Thick Blick. Check the description below, I'll have a link. But I also have used and enjoyed using uh, Pentel's white high polymer erasers. Basically any white vinyl eraser should do a good clean job of erasing without leaving ghosting and without tearing up your paper. If you have smaller sections to erase, I recommend you check out the Pintel Click Erase. These are super cheap. They're available everywhere. You can get refills for them. You, this one is almost out. You can click them to extend the eraser. Um, and it uses the same white vinyl eraser that the Pentel white vinyl erasers are made out of. Another tip I have is when you're drawing for inking, try drawing with a harder lead and a lighter hand. I like to use mechanical pencils because I'm lazy and that's what I learned to draw with. And I like to use Pentel high polymer H lead. This isn't a plug. No one's paid me to say this. I've just been drawing pretty much my entire life. So I've got some favorites by now and I hope my favorites help you guys out. If you like to draw with a traditional pencil, I've got a couple of sharpeners to recommend for you. I have used so many sharpeners over the years because I like to sketch with color pencil and color pencil is like the most prone to snapping thing in the world, especially if you use Prismacolors. I have found, however, that this German brand, KUM, KUM, they make phenomenal pencil sharpeners, all kinds of pencil sharpeners. You want a long point? They make a long point sharpener for that. You want to sharpen your color pencil? They make sharpeners for that. I happen to really like their inexpensive magnesium sharpeners. I buy these in bulk and leave them all over my studio. They also have the double slotted woodcutter pencil sharpener, which fits jumbo and regular size. And I also use their long point sharpener in my studio. Last but not least, as you erase, you're gonna get all these eraser crumbs all over your drawing. Let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Now those white vinyl erasers tend to leave fewer crumbs than those pink pearl things we were told to use in high school. But regardless of your eraser, a drafting brush like this one by Alvin, very inexpensive, very easy to find, lasts forever. I got this my first year of undergrad, so like 10 years ago, used it almost every day since then cleanly brushes those shavings away. And it might seem like just kind of like frou-frou garbage. Like, well, why do I need a brush to brush away my pencil sharpening? Because if you've got graphite all over your hand, I don't right now, but it happens. We know it happens because you're inking and your hand rests on the page. Brushing it off like that, it's gonna put more graphite back on your paper. This brush will not. It's also like 12 bucks, so it's not the biggest investment in the world. Now, if you're serious business and you're gonna be a mangaka someday, and you've seen those feather brushes like in Bakuman, those things are kind of hard to find here. There's some retailers who will carry them, but if you live in the sticks like I do, no, just get one of these. Believe me, you're legit enough. Plenty of comic artists use these Probably plenty of manga cut too. Anyway, I know erasing seems super simple, super basic, but I learned some things the hard way and I'm sharing those things with you guys. So I hope you can learn a lesson and not make my mistakes. I'm Becca Hilburn. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you around. Bye.